today we will learn that how to add third party log into unity so logs are important to know that where error occur or show some information in order to debug our application so for this reason we are going to use uh, cd log and it's free to add and uh, let's search it here log cd log it is the site and the usage has given so for this we need to go nugget to get uh, CD log uh, up and running in Unity. So I'm here in CD log, and you can say that there is no dependency required for 4.5 and 6, not for uh, no, no, and none for dot instead of 2.0. So we just download the package and we need to zip it to convert it into zip, and then we will bring the DLL in here. So here is our CD log. So we are just going to convert into zip and we are going to extract it and we will see the log folder. Okay, here it is. Go to lib and for that fix, just need to copy this into our folder. So right now we are making a plugin folder. And just need to put it here okay so we have successfully integrated actually imported the city lock and yes where it is yes okay here is our plugin so right now i'm making a script so here is log example object and uh, so here is our city log demo script and uh, the first thing we need to do is to add namespace of Siri log so here is our log namespace and now we are making a lock log variable and creating logger configuration and the next part we want to tell that write to the file okay so file is currently missing uh, for this reason we have to add using Siri log dot. Okay, we need to add file. So file is not currently available. So we have to go to NuGet again and need to search for Siri log file. And okay, so here we are. Siri log logging file. We need. Uh, I need this actually. Sorry, Siri dot. Uh, I need this actually. Sorry, see dot log sync file. Okay, this is our write dependency. We need to add file dependency. So download package again. We need to open it on and just need to change it. Okay. Yes, and just extract it. Go to lib and 4.5 and just copy this into our plugin. So here is our asset plugins and we just paste it. Okay, let's take a while. Okay, so clog dot syncs dot file is required in order to write in the file section. Okay, let's take a while. Okay. So C log dot syncs dot file is required in order to write in the file section. Okay, so right now you can see that we have got the file function, and here is the location we are giving it to our asset and trying it to write our logs into app log dot txt file. So after this you need to create logger. Okay. So here we said that write login information into application dot path slash app log. So it is essentially uh, referred to this location and in the build it will refer to the data folder. So the next thing we need to do is to assign global 
global logger settings for this we need to go to log then remember the capital log the static function the static variable is logger and we need to tell that we use this for the log so right now our configuration has completed and uh, the next part is that to add some logs i uh, suppose we want to log information so we use log.information and we can say that here is the information and the second thing we can also show some warning here is warning and the third thing is is you can use error there is an error okay so in your whole application you can use this function to write log no matter what is the file you can use other files too and you can even use multiple loggers so right now we can we should need to check that it's working or not let's run it and I need to go in the efforts again in the efforts okay we have got this file and it's created just right now so just double click it here we go we find here's the information here's the warning and here is the error so it's also showing that it's information or warning or error 